All right, away from health matters now. Open grazing in Lagos is now an offence as Governor Songulu has signed the bill into law. The signing of the bill is coming 11 days after the State Assembly passed same. The issue of open grazing has become a sensitive one in the country as it has created a rift between the southern governors and pastoralists. But as part of measures to contain the killings, the southern governors met in Lagos on July the 5th and had far-reaching conclusions on open grazing, restructuring Nigeria and called for state police. Justice Ogena, a legal practitioner, joins me now to talk about this. Thank you for joining us on the news. It's a great pleasure to be here with you. Now that Lagos State has signed uh, <coughs> the anti-open grazing bill into law, what next? What next is implementation. Mm. And of course, implementation is very, very clear that it is going to be majorly against persons who are actually uh, bearing firearms. The law, of course, goes against anybody who wants to graze. And grazing means having your cattle, it could either be goats, uh, cow, and all, on places that are either not your own or not a place as designated by the government. And if it is your own, you also still need permission mm. in order to be able to uh, graze cattle. If you do not, there are sanctions. Uh, sanction it is uh, fifty thousand naira per head of cattle. So if you have a hundred head of cattle, you are going fifty times hundred. Mm -hmm. Aside that, you still have to bear the cost for transportation. You have to bear the cost for maintaining uh, the cattle for the period w w during which the people of the government, the task force of the government, have it in their custody. So if you cannot come up with the fees or the fines, you actually have to forfeit to the point of infringement and um, by that I mean if the cost mm. to maintain your head of cattle is running to a hundred million and the total cost for your head of cattle is 200 million mm. the government will deduct, deduct 100 million and give you back your 100 million in of course in local parlance we call it your change right and there's also the 21 year imprisonment yes for headers yes headers that, that, bear, that bear firearms and mm. it's punishment also is not restricted to only those ones if you also take uh, a dangerous weapon with intent to you to harm any other person, you are going in for seven years. But there but are those who ask you, what do we term dangerous weapon? Oh, of course, again, that, that is now into, that will be determined by lawyering. Mm. The quality of lawyer will, you have will be able to argue that, okay, uh, you are taking, you are using a machete or even a biro. A, a as a as a dangerous weapon, so it will go to lawyering evidence and all. But if you bear firearm, there is no need for you to show intention. The bearing of firearm alone is enough to to get a person to be jailed. Now, there's a question of if this is really a solution, because there are those who say that this bill has been signed into law in some states, yet we have not seen the result as we should. Now, let's focus on Lagos. Are you confident that we will see the needed or desired result now that we have uh, signed this bill into law? Absolutely. And I feel that one of the major reasons for uh, making a law is to actually make the generality of the population aware that this is the position of government and once the generality of the populace is aware it becomes harder for anybody to flout if there were no law anybody can just grace everybody will say i'm not breaking any any, any law but because there is a law everybody exercises more caution hmm. because there is a law anybody that wants to go against it will have to think twice three times or four times or even not not dare go against it at all but then again there, that still brings me back to the issue of have we really gone ahead with implementation? Because there are several times we sign bills into law and we do not see the implementation or enforcement as the case may be. Okay, uh, maybe the, 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 our listeners and our viewers should be reminded that this law is less than 20, 24 hours old. Yeah. So, and I know that with the zeal of the Lagos State Government, I've also had dealings with, for example, the Director of Public Prosecution, the Attorney General, I know that they are going to implement this one, especially mm. because uh, it is one that if they don't implement it, it will really, really uh, have its terrible PR effect. But do you have any concerns whatsoever with this? Yeah, the only concerns I have is the, de the definition of what grazing is. If I have two cows in my, in my compound, and I don't have the permit of government. Basically, I'm already flouting the law. Hmm. 
and if it is to be implemented to the letters, they will come after me. Mm -hmm. But again, I don't see that really happening because, yeah, we can say that the law is... So we are now looking at numbers. Yeah, of we, are cattle. we are, of course, numbers have already... Or, the, the law didn't specifically say if it is below 5, if it is below 10, if it mm -hmm. is below... The law actually just said cattle, and it, is, it defined cattle as cow, sheep, ram, and goat. So if I have two, two goats in my compound, if a mischievous officer of the government wants to misinterpret it, basically I've flouted the black letter of the law, but again, that's why we have judges hmm. who use their discretion to say, this is not the intent of the law, because it's not at all times that the judges follow the black letter law. At some points, they also use their so discretion. So for those who might want to, you know, suppress so organized parties and, you know, buy these things and have them for some days, in their compound, so they have to go ahead to get permits. Now, that's what is that what this is? The Lord didn't make any exception in that regard, right? <laughs> Interesting. So, what might be seeing that the law's been tested, yes, in the courts. yes, obviously. The law will be tested in it's our prayers that the laws are tested in, in the courts, mm -hmm. and of course, once the laws are tested in the courts, it will, uh, it will achieve the rigidity that mm -hmm. is that is really required to sustain it and make it work or make it organize the society in the way the society should be organized. Now, there are those who are saying now, you know, that uh, the Mayete Allah were also talking about, uh, give them some time uh, so that they can, you know, educate their people, talking about the aspects of ranching, uh, they want some lands. Uh, do you see some, uh, that? do you think these are some considerations the government should look into? I, do, I don't think so. Right. I think they've had more than eternity, more than an eternity to actually do this. We know that cattle breeders and uh, farmers and the society at large have been having conflicts since time immemorial in this country. And it has been brought to the front burner much more in uh, doing this government since 2015. And they've had all the time in the world. Any other consideration I think is a waste and it's in bad faith. Mm. And you think that when we are talking about the, the, the farmers' head of clashes, this way of passing the anti urban grazing bill into law will solve the problem? Absolutely. At some point, everybody will readjust to the new equilibrium. Mm. All right. Well, that would be a fine place to leave this conversation. Uh, Justice Ogeno, thank you so much for your time. It's a pleasure. On the news. It's my pleasure.